floor progression. Handsome sausage. Hello everybody, we had some sausages and we just came from reacting to AT's thanks music video and the dance practice video. We are sharing with you the music video over here at our YouTube channel. You can check out the dance practice video over at our Patreon page. This was supposed to be, again, all Patreon material, but this album, Fever album, it has been crazy. We we came from Dear Diary and Fever and how magical it is and the narrative and the build up and everything. It just felt so beautiful. And then we got to Thanks, which sounds beautiful. And then it was like an extension of Outlaw album. It was crazy, it was crazy. We loved it, we're sharing it, enjoy it. If you wanna check out the dance practice, head over to our Patreon page. Otherwise, just enjoy the reaction. Let me know what you thought about this music when you first heard it. And we'll see you in the next one. Ah, oh, shit, I'm late. <laughs> Oh. Not what I expected. Wait, what? It was these type of songs? That's the last thing. What? You hear the. Wow. The, oh, the bass. Oh, the chords. The chords. Is it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yo, this was way dark. Oh, sexy. Listen to the drums. The core progression. Oh, the core progression. It's just so satisfying. Change again. Whoa. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh. Damn! Yep, yep, yep. Crazy what they do with it. Yes, sir! It is so dark. Yo, I totally did not expect this. Hey! Um, they go off. That's crazy. Another beat change too. The rhythm change, I mean. Oh my god. Gracias. That is not what I expected. Wait, was it whales up on top or? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. What is this beat? Yo, this Yo. R and B beat over there. Yo. Yo, wow. First of all, totally not expected, huh? No, I no. think we're same thinking about the same kind of wow. mood for the thing. I mean, we, I mean, we talked about it, like yeah. how okay, it may not be like that because we're following Fever, and then now that I think about it, considering Fever and what this album has been doing. It's not going to be a romantic song. We got that far, but we also didn't expect it to be like an extra 
track from Outlaw album. Yeah. That's what it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> I, I heard like bouncy stuff. It's like the extension of Dune and yeah. you know what I mean? That desert feeling yeah. and that uh I was like, this is like a few years ago, but then Wow. Wow, they're from the future or something like that. Yo, this was fascinating. Yo. And we talked about you know we talked about like Little Prince and uh Yeah and all that vibe yeah. from Dear Diary and mm-hmm. Fever. Well, this made me look like I mean I know it's it's a separate message, but because of that desert hotness feeling to the instruments and the sound it it had that um it made me think about like little prince walk or the the narrator walking down the desert and seeing the uh, crashed plane and all that stuff i'm my memory is now old but it definitely reminded me of that and and finding the fox and all that so just all that to say i'm 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 super psyched and impressed about this uh if you couldn't tell there's the chords oh yeah 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 yeah, the chord progression was everything this song was so good. I, I want to be really careful about it because I don't know about music of uh, Latin America or the cultural stuffs. But mm-hmm. l- please let me know. They kind of have the similar chord progression. The mood is completely different. Mm-hmm. But I'm just talking about the chord progression wise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that made me thought of that thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a very dark. I mean, it was obviously darker. The, the chorus mm. uh, I'm but- sorry <laughs> <laughs> and also um, it made me thought about one of uh, EXO's Monster do you know the song oh yeah oh yeah the, the chorus line had that oh, feeling of I see that, that with dance and yeah. being that immense feeling so chord progression was definitely one of the things that popped out as being you know changing the song from what could have been a very predictable song into something mm. that is very unique in 80s specific, yes 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 uh, yes which is unusual because usually it's the 80s sound it's usually i mean of course 80s always has a very unique song but it's the 80s sound that usually defines them but this time they somehow did it with the chords which is very very difficult in a world where there are millions of songs yeah. being played every day. So I would definitely want to give credit there. Yeah, I was going to say that too. Like, it's half 80s and half something. It's like a mix and mix. Yeah, yeah. Because so, usually 80s songs tend to have, you know, 80s. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. 80s, especially with music videos. <clears throat> and somehow they pull that off with mm. chords, which is like chords. Come on. Like, there are so many songs using the same chords probably, but... Oh, they chose the right ones. And, of course, speaking of AT sound, the drums and yeah. the rhythm changes. And especially with this one, Hong Jun came in like twice or more mm-hmm. to deliver I remember. Verse, which is yeah. which hey, Love I it. will never complain about Hong Jun coming in more than mm-hmm. once. But this time when he first comes in, the drum matches every syllable that he says. Oh, they did. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Yeah, which was Forgettable. very cool and attacky and very accented. I love that accent. Mm-hmm. And yeah, just the general Hong Jun rap style as well, I thought is brilliant. Otherwise, uh, that's all I got. And what was the bass? Like, oh, that was cool too. I think you mentioned it in the in the reaction also, but yeah. I was trying to focus on that. But the bass was like, was it one line bass? I don't know. It I, felt I, like I was talking about the bass line mostly. Mm. Like, oh, okay, so, it's a line. Yeah, but I, I was thought, thinking about the, the texture whole, of the bass. The yeah. whole chorus thing. Uh-huh. I was talking about that. And also, uh, I'm not sure about the original soundtrack, but this one they mastered it a lot, mm-hmm. so it was very very loud. Yeah, and yeah, oh yeah. It could be nice, but sometimes there are like a lot of people that who doesn't like it that much yeah but then uh, it could be yeah so so it's kind of ripping the sound like (laughs) all the time but I I like it I like it loud yeah so yeah especially this kind of sound yeah it's it's nice when it's loud so I loved it okay anyways let's talk more after reacting to the uh, dance oh man totally forgot about yeah because we gotta do that we didn't even mention it in the start but we're doing it you should know if you click the title you will know anyways let's check it out and talk more after I'm so happy so it was more like thanks, huh? <laughs> These kind of stuff with X. Yeah, X, yeah. Right? It wasn't like ah, oh, thank you, uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. it was a uh... bit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, imagine this. Imagine the dance for this. Oh, <laughs> it'd be amazing. I mean, we got a glimpse of it, I think, somewhere. But got, I'm super excited now. Oh, All right, look at the skulls. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh yeah, definitely. Do they have meanings to it? Well, Let us know, please. Yeah. Let's check it out. You ready? Three, two, one.